Okay, everybody, tonight we're gonna open some packs. Uh, I subscribed to one of these subscription boxes. I'd never done that before, but I uh, saw some YouTubers open the retrowaxbox.com subscription box, including uh, The Past is Alive, that YouTube channel. Highly recommend watching him. Uh, I talked about him yes in uh, yesterday's video. Um, so I got this box a few days ago and uh, I was hesitant to open it on video because even though I have probably most or all the cards I could find in these packs, some of them I have not held or looked at in detail in 35 years. So I am going to take my time and really enjoy opening these, not just rip through. So it may be a boring break for uh, some people. So just wanted to forewarn you that I may sit there and stare at one of the cards and dead air like that is boring for people watching. I know that, but I... I'm opening these for me, but I figured I'd record it because I enjoy watching people open packs. So there you go. So, um, so here's the disclaimer for that. So just so it's out there in writing for all of you. This is a long video because I may look at some cards in more detail. Okay. Uh, here's the, you've seen the other YouTubers show this. This is uh, the Retro Wax subscription box. Boy, I'm tired. Worked in the uh, 100 degree heat all day. Um, Da, 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 da. And then his website, email, all that good stuff, what you can get. I uh, did subscribe to the additional add-on for like, it's like eight, nine bucks extra for the, I picked three additional packs from 87 to go for Bonds, Bo Jackson, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then um, disclaimer for YouTube. Um, I got dinged on a previous video when I had some music playing in the background uh, for a copyright infringement. Uh, <laughs> I mean... I have music playing down here in the basement 24 seven. I love music going all the time. So um, I don't know how to avoid, I'm not gonna turn off my music. I turned it way down so I could barely hear it. You might not be able to hear it. And definitely I hope YouTube can't hear it because who knows how they, I mean, geez. I mean, <laughs> that's a little, uh, I don't know. So anyway, so here's the YouTube disclaimer. I don't know if this will work because I'm sure they, what do they call them, just bots that kind of ding you for doing things wrong. but. Um, even if you don't do anything wrong. Uh, so here, YouTube, Youth Gone Wild is the name of the CD I have in there right now. It is heavy metal hits of the 80s. I do not have the album cover. It's in my truck. I do not want to go back outside to my truck. So here, there, there's a disclaimer. So, well, I mean, you guys, <laughs> I don't know what it means if I get dinged. I guess if I ding, get dinged too many times, I get kicked off and then, oh, well, then I go do something else fun. But, um, so I did open, um, a lot of the packs, not a lot, I mean, I, maybe like eight of them, that I thought would not really have good cards. And I was right. So to get those out of the way so you're not bored out of your mind. So here's the stack of those, uh, the ones that were, let's see if I could do this without shutting off my phone like I just did on the first take. Um, so these are just all just commons of, I mean, I think there's you know, a lot of 91, some, there's some leaves. Some, so I'm going to show you that. So here's the stack of decent ones um, that I pulled out of the packs that I opened. There's all the packs that I opened. All right, we'll, we'll also go through what, what I am going to open on video. So here's kind of the middle tier. So that was the lower tier that I considered lower tier. Uh, middle tier is going to be 90 Donruss, 90 Fleer, 88 Fleer. 89 tops, 91 tops, 91 Bowman, 90 or 89 score. Okay, did I get all those? Oh, 90 Bowman, I say that, yeah. Here's the ones that I uh, consider top tier that we might really hit some good stuff out of. 87 Fleer, two packs because I got the additional add-on. 86 tops, 84 tops, 87 tops, two packs because the add-on. 87 Donruss, two packs, 89 Donruss, 89 Fleer. Uh, 90 tops and 90 upper deck. Yeah, okay. So that's what we're gonna be opening. And again, I am gonna look at some of the cards in detail. Like this one, I mean, well, I can't uh, look at it on my phone on uh, eBay, but I'd never seen this card before. I pulled this out of a uh, 91 leaf. Um, and a PSA nine I saw recently sold for uh, 25 bucks. So, I mean, this is really cool. I mean, it's a gold leaf. Um, 
Nolan Ryan. I'd never seen this card before. So pulled that out of one of the packs I've opened so far out of this box. Got Alan Trammell, uh, Leaf, I think, out of that same pack. Um, 90, is this 92 Stadium Club? Yeah, the George Brett. I don't think I've ever had that card before. And of course, it's really cool because they show the rookie card on the back. I do have a uh, rookie Brett and a seven and a couple other kind of mid-grade ones I need to get graded. Uh, 88 tops are unfortunately really worthless. I have probably 10 of all the stars, but still, hey, you know, a nice condition pack fresh, pack fresh, Jim Rice, Andre Dawson. Um, as a A's fan growing up, this was, I mean, I could not get enough of these cards uh, as a kid with Canseco and McGuire. This is a really cool leader's card. Uh, and then we have uh, 90, 91 Donruss. We have a uh, Boggs All-Star, Randy Johnson, uh, No Hits of Tigers. We have uh, another Trammel and a Ripken. So this was, this was a decent pack, but I got a lot out of that. And then uh, Robin Yount out of the 88 Donruss pack that I opened. And a couple of the packs had absolutely nothing, nothing even worth remotely setting aside. So let's start with uh, uh, 90 Donruss. This was pretty much the last year I collected. So I bought some 90 Fleer Donruss and Tops uh, in 1990 and then off to college I went and there stopped collecting until 2001. So um, about a decade that I did not collect. So I'm gonna just set these down over here and just pull them from the back up and just just do that all on camera. Let's turn this into our, our garbage bin. Put it with the packing peanuts there. All right, so hope you enjoy this break. Felix Jose. Here we go talking about the A's. Uh, we were, <laughs> all of us were high on this guy. I don't know why he, I don't think he really ever did anything, but Felix Jose. So we'll put him in here over here in the little commons stack I get going and then. Oh, with Felix Jose, what was funny, I, they, I have seen a picture of this. Okay, sorry to go back. Here we go, taking a long time. Um, so Felix Jose on the back of his uniform, his name was Jose. And so there is, there are pictures. You probably find us somewhere. He's standing next to Jose Canseco. So if you read across with Felix Jose standing next to Jose Canseco, the jerseys across read Jose Canseco. So kind of a fun thing back then. And as kids, we just absolutely loved. So uh, Wallace Johnson, Alex Sanchez. I mean, we would, if it said rated rookie on it, we just went bananas over um, any of these, but of course he was, didn't amount to much. Mike Jeffcoat, um, I forgot what the errors are in this. Um, of course the, uh, reversed negative Juan Gonzalez is a key. Tony Armas, I used to love him in the early eighties when of course he was on the A's. Um, yeah, there's something, there's a joke we made about, it. I don't think it's, I try to keep the channel appropriate, but um, <laughs> what we used to do with his name. Uh, Carlos Martinez. Um, Jose De Leon. I don't know if you guys want to, I guess we'll hold it closer. I'm kind of, I'm looking past the phone because I could see them a lot better. Um, not through the phone, but uh, Mark Portugal. Charlie Hayes, I think he was a giant. Yep, came up with the Giants. So, my favorite player was Will Clark growing up, but um, was Ricky Henderson first and then into the later 80s, Will Clark, but my favorite team always stayed uh, the A's growing up. Eric Shaw. I think he's the one that gave up Pete Rose's uh, record-breaking uh, 4192nd hit, if I remember right. Uh, Mike Harkey, I think he was another uh, guy we were really buying up as a prospect as kids. Barry Lyons. Uh, Steve Sachs, I mean, for a while in the early mid 80s, I mean, he was looking like he could belt into a Hall of Famer. I had a bunch of his rookie cards. But uh, 
He's a solid player, but just never hit Hall of Fame status consideration. So this pack is a little bit of a bust so far. Looks like we have a Diamond King coming up. Shane Raleigh. Al Leiter. So in tops, 88 tops, there's an error of him, I believe. I forgot what it was. Um, <laughs> of course, Ozzy Gian. I can't stand this guy. Um, just the stories of him when he was coming up through the minors of just coming in completely wasted. Um, I guess his minors roommate I saw an interview where he's, this guy would come in every every night just completely hammered on cocaine. Um, so I just never liked him. And the puzzle piece. So everything in that pack went in the common pile. So let's go. I guess we'll go 90. 90 Fleer. Um, growing up, I was a huge fan of Fleer. Just the kind of the clean look of the cards. So I bought more Fleer up until the late 80s um, than any of the other brands. And also because if you put them in number order, the teams stayed together. So Mike Marshall. So I'm hoping this break's not too boring, but I mean, like I said, I like people to watch people going through their cards, especially when you don't know what's coming up. Gary Pettis. Boy, he was an A's killer when he was on the uh, Angels when I was going to A's games in the early mid 80s. Jeff Brantley, he was a big prospect with the uh, Giants. Alvin Davis, he was another, I remember his, I think his 85 tops rookie card was a hot commodity back in 85. Joe Hesketh. Luis Canones. There we go. Here's it. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was Ozzie Smith. Guess who? Yeah. My least favorite player. Mr. Cocaine. Um, Marty Barrett. Pedro Guerrero. Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer, right? He's a Hall of Famer. I'll put him in the kind of keeper sleeve up pile. Jim Gott. I think he was a, yeah, he was with the Giants for a couple of years. Mark Icorn. Randy Bush, and, 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 cool. Fourth year, Barry Bonds, yeah, fourth year. Sharp, it's a good card to pull. And David Wells, and the sticker. A sticker. All right, let's do. Let's go ninety-one tops. No trash heap. Ron Robinson. Pete Smith. Parent. Jeff Innes. Lloyd Mosby. I don't remember him with the Tigers. I remember him with the Blue Jays. Yeah, he was in the Blue Jays all the way through the 80s. Man, he was a solid all-around player. And one year he led the league in triples, so. Yeah, solid player. Lloyd Mosby. Scott Coolbaugh. 
Now, if I remember right, is this the guy who was a third base coach in the minors, like in the early 2000s, and unfortunately got hit in the head with a line drive and passed away? I can't remember. Maybe some of you remember that. I can't remember if that's him. Really, absolutely tragic. But that name stands out for some reason. Bill Baith. Um, <laughs> called him Bill Bath, of course. Mike Moore. Man, I think he had like an absolutely incredible 89 World Series. I think I think what I remember most is, of course, you know, back then the American Leaguers never hit. And uh, I think in either game two or game four, he <laughs> hits a deep double when he had to come up to plate at uh, Candlestick Park against the Giants. I was laughing. I remember that moment. I think it was Mike Moore. All right. Robin Ventura. Now, speculating and buying rookie cards. Unfortunately, the one in my life that I bought the most of as a kid for probably 25 and 50 cents a piece, I probably bought like 200 of them. Um, this guy's rookie card in uh, whatever it was, I think either 88 tops traded or 89. Maybe it was 89 tops. Um, um, I actually have an autographed ball of, I don't have many autographs, but I have an autographed ball of uh, Robin Ventura. I um, don't need to save that spacer card thingy. So, yeah, unfortunately that prospecting didn't pan out. Um, also, I bought a lot of Donruss J. Buhner, <laughs> J. Buhner rookies in either 88 or 89. Frank Willis. Mike Greenwell. I never knew what happened to him. He was about the hottest all-around player in like, 88, 89, and then just disappeared. I got to look that up and see what the heck happened. I mean, the guy had a high average. He had over 100 RBIs, a lot of, hit, uh, a lot of hits. Just, I remember him all over the leaderboards and uh, then gone. So, Eddie Whitson. Start another stack of commons. Oh, I remember this Benny card, Benito Santiago. Back then, I mean, when they did, you know, creative photography like that as kids were like, that is so cool. So I must have seen that. I didn't really collect a 91, but I might have bought, you know, maybe a dozen packs or so back then. David Segui. And last card, Charlie Hayes again. Ankles, they'd fall asleep. Okay. Uh, 89 score. Let's do that one next. All right. Ernie Witt. Kevin McReynolds. Ron Kittle, another one we were just, I think as a rookie, he hit, you know, didn't have a good average, but hit, what did he hit? Like second year, hit like 35 home runs and like 84 and couldn't get enough Ron Kittle rookies. Tom Bernanski, I remember buying a lot of his rookies too. Wallace Johnson, Pat Sheridan, the um, hologram little inserty thing, uh, Jim Gantner, Greg Brock. I think what I remember about him is he was supposed to be the uh, replacement for uh, Steve Garvey on the Dodgers when they traded Garvey to the Padres or didn't re-sign Garvey. Garvey left and he just never panned out to fill those shoes for the Dodgers. Mike Henneman. Keith Atherton. Rafael Belliard. I didn't buy a lot of score as a kid. Ray Quinones. Joel Skinner, 
Ron Robinson again. Saw him in an, uh, another pack. Don Slot and Odell Jones. All right, so far nothing exciting. Um, 91 Bowman on this little cheat sheet here. He says what's, what we could find. So Messina, Tomy, Bagwell, Rodriguez, Yvonne Rodriguez, and Chipper Jones are the possibilities out of this year, Bowman. So let's see what we get. Oh, and there is Gumman. That's right, Bowman, Bowman and Gum. All right. Was all dusty with gum residue. Jose Vizcaino. These are sharp. Jeff Montgomery. Pete Shorick. Huh, no stats. He made his professional debut in 87. This one. Another one made us Dean Palmer. I think he was an up-and-coming star, but just never became big, big. Raphael Belliard. Oops. Oh, hitting things here. Easy. Can we still see? Jose Escobar. Have never heard of him. Man, a lot of people, uh, I guess they were really into, just like they are now, Bowman had a lot of prospects. This guy has no stats on the back. Yvonne Cruz. Dwight Evans, boy, I didn't know he still played in, in 90. Incredible player. Just never good enough to be a Hall of Famer. But I still like Dwight Evans, uh, Dwight Evans cards, especially... 70s, early 80s, Dwight, Dwight Evans card. Colin Powell, huh. That is a, uh, I don't know if that's an insert or if that's worth anything. It says something up the top, of course, with my eyesight getting older. U.S., it just says U.S. and a bunch of stars. That's kind of cool. I'm going to set that aside and see if it's, you know, can say go. It's probably in the late 80s is... Conseco cards I collected more than anybody. And I don't think I've ever seen this one because this was uh, 91. Um, Joe Girardi. So, so far, no really big cards, no big rookies like Boddicker. Remember him was in the uh, 83 World Series. He's a, a rookie and did really well for the Orioles. Tom Bernanski again. Did I already see him? Did I already see him before? I think I said I collected a bunch of his. And Tony Gwynn. Poor guy died way, 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 way too soon. Amazing player. I really liked Tony Gwynn a lot. Every time uh, adult softball leagues about 15 years ago, one of my buddies, a huge Padres, lifelong Padres fan, and he had Gwynn's number 19 on his softball uniform. All right, let's go 89 tops. I'll go for the ones first that I'm not like expecting, you know, something too crazy out of. So let's see what we got. So the card that took the gum hit was the Jim Acker. I did set the, uh, the Gwen into my sleeve pile. Eric Davis, man, that was another one just like with the Alvin Davis, the Eric Davis, 85 tops rookie. We we're going after Steve Jiltz. What are we at? 24 minute mark. Sorry guys, if this is boring, especially with the, uh, I'm saving the good stuff for last. So I don't know you guys could always skip through because if you don't think we're going to see anything monster in these, that's why like I said, did these first. I should have gone through them quicker. Juan Castillo, Lance Parrish. Danny Heap, Jeff Blauser, and Spacer card thingy. Jeff Robinson. See, we're getting a lot of Robinsons. This is their 
Is it Jeff? No, it was Don Robinson they nicknamed. I knew there was a lot of Robinsons back then in the late 80s. He had uh, Ron Robinson, Jeff Robinson, and it was Don Robinson who was with the Giants. Who, Well, Jeff Robinson was also, but uh, it was Don Robinson. I think they got from the Pirates in their playoff run, and his nickname was Caveman. Wes Gardner. Another Mike Greenwell. Uh, Will Tejeda. Tejada. Tejeda, Tejada. Potato, Patata. Uh, Neil Heaton. Jack Lazarko. One of the funnier names back then. Scott Bales. And John Tudor. Remember him, I think, with the uh, 85... Cardinals World Series team. I think he like had a loss in the World Series and punched his hand through a car windshield. Something like that. I just remember these weird random stories because it's just as a kid it was kind of shocking to to hear these sorts of things. Okay, let's get the sticker out of the way. Put the sticker in there. Dennis Boyd. Remember, this guy was tall and lean. Not really tall, 6'1". I guess for a short guy like me, it's everybody's tall. Uh, Jimmy Jones. Jimmy Jones. This is 88, uh, 88 Fleer, by the way. Eric Plunk. Bought a lot of his rookie cards. Well, he was on, duh, he was on the same card as the Fleer Canseco rookie, so that's why. But I, I thought it was cool that... Uh, Kenny Molinaro, that uh, Plunk was on there too because I thought Plunk was going to be a star. Pete O'Brien. And Mike Ryle. Walt Terrell. Lee Tunnel. Harold Reynolds. That's my favorite on uh, MLB Network. Before I canceled cable like three years ago. Jose Cruz. Mike Boddicker again. Andres Thomas. Cecil Cooper coming up. Man, we thought he was going to be a Hall of Famer. If you look at his stats, I mean, he was just... Good gosh, was he solid. Both average hits, home runs. Cecil Cooper, awesome player, I thought, back then. Another Guerrero, Pedro Guerrero, and Jim Wynn. So, we are really, well, I mean, if we're having a bust with the uh, not premium stuff that I thought would be premium stuff, then maybe we'll hit it big with the good stuff then. So, uh, what did I just tear open? 90 Bowman? What is this? 90 Bowman, okay. Cheat sheet says in here, see I should know this, but it's been a long time since I opened kind of late 90s stuff. Uh, Frank Thomas, Larry Walker, Sammy Sosa, and second year, oh yeah, second year Griffey would be kind of cool. Uh, or the Thomas, Randy Bush. Robbie Thompson, I used to like him a lot. Jeff Jackson. Jose Vizcaino, again. I think we got him earlier. Ed Zosky. Do you not know or remember him? Or this, Johnny Ard. Ard. Johnny Ard. Huh. Yeah, Johnny made his professional debut in 88, so, yeah. Hey, checklist. That's sad. I don't know who that is. Is that Sean Dunstan? Sean Dunstan? I don't know. Just not. Did you? Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> oh. Huey Brooks. 
Remember him with the Mets. Didn't know he went to the Dodgers. Kiki Jones. Okay. Jim Presley. Todd Benzinger. That's another one. 88. 1988 tops. What a ton of his rookies. Oh my gosh. Benzinger and Greenwell were a pretty good one two punch for the Sox. Of course, and Boggs. Mike Rockford. 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 Kong. Rockford. Here we go. Dawson. I love Andre Dawson cards. Cool. Nice Dawson. Sharp looking. And Guerrero again. I think that's who we pulled the most. We pulled three Pedro Guerrero cards. Sorry if I. It's kind of not looking through the phone if you didn't see a good look at the John uh, Andre Dawson card. Okay, eighty six tops. Next, so now we're in the uh, we're in the uh, upper row here of uh, packs that I thought would be the better ones. Ron Oster, man, I had bought, I bought a ton of eighty six, eighty seven. 88 tops were the ones I bought the most of as a kid. Dave Palmer. So nice and sharp, a little off center, but if we get somebody really good with the sharpness, that's cool. Tom Seaver turned back the clock. I love the 76 design. I'll put that in my nicer pile. Scoot. Rafael Santana. Bobby Meacham. Gerald, Tigers, <laughs> when my youngest sees these, uh, she says, it looks like he's dreaming <laughs> with the uh, 86 tops leaders, so Tigers leaders because of the kind of the effect around him. Dave Dravecki, gosh, sad story. I mean, and of course, me watching the Giants a lot back then, oh, what do you... Through that pitch and basically his arm snapped in half. That was just tragic. I'm gonna get a drink of water, sorry. All right, a little spacer piece. Phil Negro. I mean, he looked old when he was young. Put that in the nicer pile. Scott Bradley. I don't think I really liked the 86 or 85 design when they came out, but now they're kind of just, they're kind of a classic look. I didn't even like the 84 design, really. Love the 87 design with that wood wood border. So that was Jeff Reardon, Alan Wiggins. Here we go, beautiful Murray card. Beautiful, beautiful. That's a nice card, I like that a lot, so. Maybe get some better. Damaso Garcia, All Star, and Tom Gorman. Finish it up. All right, let's go. Let's go ninety. Ninety upper deck. So I guess second year Griffey, right, and uh, other stuff in here. Joel Skinner, Jeffrey Leonard. Again, remember him a lot with the Giants. He had the uh, one flap down around the bases against the so the Cardinals in the 80, 87 playoffs, I think. And man, the St. Louis fans, because he called the St. Louis a cow town. <laughs> oh man, they booed him. Todd Worrell. Yeah, I think it was 87, because that when the Giants got past the Cubs in the playoffs. Uh, Larry Anderson. Carmen Castillo. Oh, that's a pretty cool action shot. Look at this. Helmet flying off. Cal Ripken. That's that's a classic Ripken card. That's cool. That's a really nice card. So that goes into my nicer stack. The rest of these I just I started a, about to start a third stack of kind of commons. Dan Gladden. Remember him with the Giants? Boy, a lot of players played with the Giants. Uh, Chad Kruder. I remember him because my boss at the video arcade when I was a kid went to high school with him. Yeah. So. 
Teddy Higuera, John Franco, Bill Doran, he was a solid second baseman back then. Checklist, Jose Vizcaino again, and Paul O'Neill, is this his rookie? Is this his rookie? Is it, no, I don't think so, no. Looks like 80, looks like 80, sorry, off camera. <laughs> looks like they're both taking a nap. <laughs> That's funny. All right, uh, 90 tops. Boy, this is uh, really not, you know, it's hit or miss what you can get or not. It's, uh, you know, there's, I've seen good stuff pulled out of these. I've seen people pull the Bonds rookie. I've seen people pull the uh, um, uh, Frank Thomas rookie. I think I saw this card. Oh, what is this here? Marty Peavy. Okay, so it's 90 tops. Here we go. Uh, Jim Leland, manager. Al Leiter. Dave Smith. Come on, get the card. Bill Long. That was weird. Paul Asenmacher. Frank Robinson, wow, I have never seen this card before. That is cool. I saw it as a, it was a gosh, we got another manager card. Um, stack of manager cards in this one. But that is a cool manager card. Always, always, even like, a, what is it, 83, 83 Donruss, they have a manager card of uh, Frank Robinson on the Giants. And I like that one. Spark Anderson, uh, past his live, always comments how... Uh, he always looks so doggone thrilled. But man, what a hell of a manager he was. Gary Reedus. I don't know if I held that up in camera. Sorry. Kind of looking ahead. Looking ahead. Lee Gooderman. Dave LaPointe. I remember buying a lot of his 83 top. Well, not buying a lot, but in packs, I'd set these aside. Dave LaPointe rookies. Um, 83 tops. I guess I thought he was good. Mickey Tettleton. Jeffrey Leonard again, Mr. One Flap Down, if anybody remembers that. He'd run the bases with uh, one arm just dangling by his hip. Art Howe. And a couple more out of this pack. Chris Carpenter. Tom Browning, I remember buying, I think it had been 86 tops maybe. I bought a ton of, or again, I see, keep saying buy. I bought so many packs that uh, I'd always set aside Tom Browning rookies out of 86 tops. All right, um, let's go 89 Fleer. This is always fun because, you know, you can get the Bill Ripken error in it. You can get just the some cool stuff. I remember buying tons of, Tons of 89 cellos at the store with a friend because he had written on a sheet of paper. He had figured out the whole sequencing of 89 Fleer. So he'd say, okay, if this is on front, it's the, uh, I think we we're just going after Griffey's, Griffey rookies and Ripken errors. That's it. So he had the whole, you know, he knew exactly what cards showing either front or behind. And then we'd just buy up all those uh, cello packs at the store and get a stack of Griffey's and Bill Ripken's, which are still worth, well, they're worth more than what they were back then, which is kind of cool. Uh, Tom Candiotti, I think he was a knuckleballer. Uh, Steve Peters. NL Pitching Power, Danny Jackson and David Cohn. Sorry if this is a boring break for everybody. I mean, we really haven't hit any, wow, look at that, you know, but maybe next month. I, I subscribe to this, so I'll get another one in August. Zane Smith, and what the heck, I'll open it on video too, because if you guys are okay with me opening them slow like this, and you're still watching right now, then Scott Fletcher. Sometimes I'll watch a long video like this as a background while I'm doing stuff with my cards or things down in the basement. Mike Schmidt, possibly between him and Brett, my two favorite all-time players. Plus, he's a model railroader, and I'm a train nut too, so... 
that also, uh, as a kid, created another extra, you know, liking of, of Mike Schmidt. That's cool. And followed by Mattingly. Really cool. I like Mattingly cards. I mean, such huge numbers he put up. Carmelo Martinez. Stan Javier. Rafael Ramirez. He played forever, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, with the, started with the Braves. And Craig Worthington. Steve Sachs again. Paul Gibson. Yeah, unfortunately I did have a pair of glasses like that back in the late 80s, but that's why I went so fast to contact lenses because I refused to wear my glasses because I looked like that. So I um, had contact lenses since I was like 15, 16. Will Clark, man, I loved Will Clark cards. Loved Will Clark cards. In high school, people said I looked a little bit like him. So, And my name's Phil, so they'd say, hey, Will, I mean Phil. <laughs> my, my buddy Chris would always do that joke in class. Mike Moore. And sticker. All right, let's go. What do you want to do? Let's do 89 Donruss. Come on, let's hit something pretty cool. What did we just do? What did we just do? 89 clear. We didn't hit anything exciting in there, huh? Herman Gonzalez. Start a third stack of Blouser again. Jeff Blouser. Start a third stack of Commons. Bob Nepper. And that stack is a little too close to the phone, so I'm going to knock the phone. So let's move everything over. Slide it over. Slide. There we go. Because I'm clumsy. Uh, Bill Wegman. Mike Scott. Gary Pettis. Got one of him earlier. The A's killer when he was on the Angels. Juan Augusto. I still like 89 Donruss a lot. Steve Farr. No, oh, it's a fun break. I mean, it's hoping we'd hit something. Jim Rice. I love Jim Rice cards. That's a sharp one, too. Maybe a hair off center towards the bottom, but that's cool. I like Jim Rice. He's going into the good pile. Well, my good pile's getting you know, a little decent size. Jack McDowell. Atley Hammaker. Said this in another video a few months ago. We used to call him Hitmaker. Mark Gubaza. Charlie Lee. Bruce Benedict. I did not like a lot of the Braves players when I was a kid. I don't know why. Maybe because we saw them every day on TBS and just got kind of sick of them. Jim Tichet's, I mean, that's kind of mean, but true. Plus, you'd see them every day, and they stunk. I mean, all through when we started watching them, when, when did TBS come on the air? Like, you know, in 83, and then 84, 85, 86. They stunk. The Braves stunk. Um, let's go 87 tops. 87 tops. So we'll go, we'll go one each, 87 tops, Donner's Fleer, and then run through it again, do it that order again. There. All right. Thad Bosley took the gum hit there. I think he was the first base coach for the A's in like the early 2000s. Bob Welch, this guy died way too young too. He was with the A's for a few years and just, that's when he had like what, a 27 win season? 24, where'd it go? Oh, this is before his, yeah, no, it was in 88 or 89, that's right. Didn't he went, didn't he go like 27 and 10 or something? You guys will know, but yeah, this is before he came to the A's. Yeah, of course, duh, 87. I think it was 88 or 89, Bob Welch, just, and he passed away way too young. 
Randy Bush. Got one or two of him earlier. Pinella. Manager card. Bob Horner is another one where bought a ton of his early 80s cards or set them aside a lot because, I mean, he had a hot start to his career. Jim Wynn again, I remember him from another pack. Not, I mean, of course it wasn't Ace M Tops, but Eddie Whitson again. Cool, and even though it's a manager card, Pete Rose. Cool. That's a manager, I haven't been showing the backs, but cool, Pete Rose. Brooke Jacoby. Trash. Ron Robinson. So there's the third Robinson. So we had, no, we haven't had Don Robinson. We haven't had Caveman. We had Ron Robinson, Jeff Robinson, no Don Robinson. Bill Gullickson and Ron Robinson. Bill Russell. I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite Molitor cards. So go into my nicer slash Hall of Fame stack. Rob Wilfong, Sammy Stewart, Donnie Moore. That's a sad story of he committed suicide, and part of it was because of uh, that home run he gave up to Dave Henderson in the uh, 86 playoffs. Poor guy. And Dave Stapleton. All right, so let's go 87 Don Russ. Loved 87 Donruss. I think at 87, oh gosh, it was a toss-up whether I liked 87 Donruss or 87 Tops best. Rick Leach. Sorry, people, it's been a bust of an opening. Ryan Downing. I mean, at least I didn't spend a lot on these. But it's cool opening older packs. Like I said, I just, I don't want to dive into my you know, really good old stash of 70s and 80s packs. So I just figured I want to open something. I don't know enough about the newer stuff, so it's kind of um, kind of boring. I can't afford the high-end newer stuff, so I'm not going to be opening anything when you're getting tons of autographs and stuff. So Jerry Naren was the one before that. It was a Diamond King of Chris Brown. Uh, Jerry Naren, Jesse Barfield. Frank White. Pat Clements. Jose Gonzalez. Michael Brantley. Franklin Stubbs. Lamar Hoyt. This guy had some dominant years in the early mid eighties with the was it with the Cubs? I'm not I mean the uh, White Sox. Get another drink here. Mark Langston is another hot card um, from eighty five tops that we used to be happy when we'd get out of a pack. Jeez, I've gotten three of this guy. Yeah. I rip it in half on camera. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done that to a card. Curtis Wilkerson and Puzzle Beast. Okay, let's go. We said 87 Fleer. So then we'll, then we'll go back to back 87 Fleer and then we'll work our way back across. Because actually, I think now is the Bonds in the 87 Fleer worth the most out of the 87 Bonds cards? But I like 87 Fleer the least because it's just, it's bland. But that's a cool Mattingly card. That's a cool Mattingly card. But it has got to be one of the most bland. I mean, other than like, what was it? The Just the yellow Fleer. Was that 91 Fleer or 92 Fleer? is just so good, gosh, ugly and plain. But yeah, I just never liked 87 Fleer. So I don't think I bought a heck of a lot of it as a kid. So Mattingly, that's a good card. Eric Shaw again. Of course, we're going to get a lot of the same players because the same era for all these packs. Alejandro Pena. 
Alan Anderson. Kurt Young, I used to like him a lot. Glenn Davis. Mike Lacoste. Didn't he win 20 games in like, I think it was like an 88 or 89 he won. I think he won 20. Maybe. Maybe not. Can't remember. Mike Lacoste, Jose Guzman. Steve Bonaveris. John Moses. Trout. Steve Trout. Terry Forster. Oh. <laughs> All right. What's that? That is a gorgeous Mons rookie. So just hitting one card like this and all these packs just um, pretty much worth I mean, maybe not in raw, but if it grades like a nine worth about as much as what this whole subscription box cost. I mean, it's how cool, how cool. There we go. 87 Fleer Bonds rookie. Cool. Very, very happy with that. Harry Spillman. That just made the whole thing even more fun, right? I mean, it's pretty much. And now this, then that Frank Viola, and then now I'm, okay, was that Harry Spillman, Frank Viola? And then this, I actually, I think in 87 was, no, it was Conseco was my favorite card, even though he had a traded rookie or he had 86 rookies in Fleer and Donruss. But in 87, is Conseco and Clark, like I said earlier, favorite player. I mean, I'm putting this in the good pile too. I just, I mean, it's off center. Not as nice shape as the Bonds rookie, but same pack. I hit the Will Clark and the Barry Bonds. Come on, that's that's pretty cool. And let's finish it off with a Hall of Famer. Let's finish it off with a Hall of Famer. I was at, now he pitched for the Giants for a short time in, yeah, 86. I was at, I... I don't still have the ticket stub. I was at his 4,000 strikeout game. I mean, he was getting beat like, you know, five to two. It's like, you know, fifth inning. He was still around in the game. And he got his 4,000 strikeout. I mean, I think that's the only really like historic moment that I've seen. And so in a Giants uniform, he got his 4,000 strikeout. Career strikeout. Oh, good thing I didn't do that to Bonds. Nope, didn't. Luckily, I dropped it flat. See, I told you, I'm clumsy. So... That was a good pack. That was a good pack. We got Mattingly, Carlton, Bonds, and Clark out of, I mean, that, that could be the best 87 Fleer pack I've ever, I mean, I know that's got to be the best 87 Fleer pack I ever opened. So let's do, uh, gosh, that's awesome. And uh, let's do the other 87. Oh, eh, we left this. Sticker behind. So we got Indians, Reds, Astros stickers. Um, dang, that's awesome. Mickey Tettleton. We saw him in a was an Orioles uniform in a, another pack. Glenn Braggs. I still remember that. He kind of stunk with the A's and he went to the Orioles and he hit like 20-something homers. Checklist. Cool, Robin Yount. And Dave Winfield coming up right behind him. Man, these 87 Fleers have been loaded. Golly. Man, we got more out of the 287 Fleer packs than pretty much everything else. Dave Winfield, I love Dave Winfield cards too. I think I only have one of his rookie and it's in a 74 set. I gotta, I'd love to buy one that's in nice shape. 
Mark Langston. Oh, Tewksbury. Doubles and triples. I don't remember this card really. Juan Samuel and Tim Raines. Well, Tim Raines is a Hall of Famer. Let's put him there. I used to love these. The Fleer All-Star Team inserts. Mattingly. I think I even had this in like a screw down holder as a kid. Wow. So I think I saw it at a card store for five bucks. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a super valuable card. Alfredo Griffin. Man, this changes the whole tone of this break, huh? Hitting something good and then something else good and something else good. Bob Nepper. Say hey, Johnny Ray. Yeah, now I'm singing. We won't do that. I'm sorry. That's that's gonna get thumb down, uh, thumbs downs quick. Scott Fletcher. Oh, and speaking of that, if you're still you guys are still around, thank you for all the nice comments, all the subscribers, all the likes, the thumbs up. The I mean, good gosh. I mean, it, that's pretty cool. We're just you know just doing this you know fun hobby, and you know people are liking the videos, so I appreciate that. Um, that was <laughs> I'm forgetting to say the names now. Scott Fletcher, Spike Owen, Matt Young. Hall of Famer, E. Smith. So, E. C. Eighty Seven Fleer. That was just a killer, killer, killer run of cards, huh? What do you want to do? It's Donruss, Eighty Seven Donruss. So these were definitely the better packs to save for the end. Puzzle piece. Checklist, another Michael Scott, Mike Scott. Mike Witt, Matt Young, and old John No Neck Crook. He's actually a good player too. Bob Shirley. Jeff Nelson. Scott Reltz again. Juan Castillo. Craig Reynolds. This was a cool card back then. As a rookie, and a Diamond King, Wally Joyner. Remember, it's between him and Conseco for Rookie of the Year. Cool card, but I don't think that's going into my good stack. Maybe this is regular. Okay, Bob Brower. Who's that? Look at that. Who is that? <laughs> wow. Okay. That is cool. Bo Jackson rated rookie. It's off center, but still, come on. That is that is cool. I did not recognize it when I saw the back. Vincent Edward Jackson. Bo Jackson. Cool. Grab two cards. John Stefaro. What a beautiful card. Good gosh, that's so awesome. And Greg Walker. Look at that. Beautiful. Right there. All right. Man. I mean, already anything else was going to be bonus or gravy, and now... Let's uh, pull this and cut beat up with the 
gum or wax. Um, and then we get Bo Jackson after that. So it was already gravy, and now there's even anything else that's even more gravy. Russ Mormon. Paul Zuvella. Greg Harris. Bruce Benedict. Joe Cowley. Terry Pendleton. He's a solid player. I'm getting a weird shadow. Sorry about that. It's probably one of the times I hit the camera. There we go. I think I. Larry Herndon. Tim Burke. <laughs> Bruce Bakhti always had a funny looking picture. And the little spacer thingy. Glenn Wilson. Tom Henke. Ken Schramm. Oh, Reggie Jackson, cool. So we had a Charlie Hudson and Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson. When I, was, when I first started collecting in 82, it was all about Reggie Jackson and Pete Rose cards. Those were, that's what you had to get, Reggie Jackson. Gosh, that's cool. I love Reggie Jackson cards. Ricky Horton. And Ken Obrickfell. All right. Now the 84 Tops pack. Now the 84 Tops pack. All right. Let's see what we get in this. Thanks for watching, everybody. What a cool break. Bill Scherer. Hal McRae. I can't quite in here. The CD ended. Because this video is over an hour now. I think it's my first longest video ever. Tom Herr. Do you imagine if I had opened the packs that I had already opened before the video? Uh, Wayne Krinchiki. John Candelaria. Well, we had, what do we have? Joe Cowley, and now we have Terry Crowley. Mr. Crowley. All right, I said no singing. Terry Crowley. No singing. Ken Singleton. So this is one of the funniest names for A's players. I don't know why this would make me laugh when I pull this card. And the 83 is a kid, Dave Beard. <laughs> Last name of Beard. I don't know. I don't know why that was funny. Don't know why. Dave Steeb. And Andy Van Slyke. Is this, uh, I know a couple of the uh, breakers online loved Andy Van Slyke. I don't know if that's his rookie. This is a cool card with Carew and Jackson. Cool. These are cool. That's going in my nice, my nice pile. And here's a, another Hall of Famer, Bruce Suter. And Ron Jackson. And Quisenberry, I liked Quisenberry so much. We used to try to pitch like him. Another guy who died way too young. And uh, not the, uh, Mariners pitcher, Randy Johnson. Cool.
Cool, cool, cool. So, I mean, the highlights, those three. That's cool to pull that. There's the three stacks of commons. There's the card I'm gonna go look up, see if it's worth anything. The Colin Powell. And then the you know, the stars, which there's some nice ones. There's that 87 Mattingly. There's the 87 Lee Smith. Um, but boy, the 87s are, isn't that funny? That's what I, I paid the extra to get the extra. I want, you know, who knows if these were in the extra packs that I'd gotten, but um, I paid the extra for three extra 87 packs and 87 is what, without the 87 packs, this, you know, it'd have been kind of a, I mean, I like, I mean, I like getting star cards. I mean, you can never go wrong with star cards that are, you know, 30, 35 years old. But look at, look at that. That's, that's the beauty of this break. So thanks for watching. This was, this was boring for about 50 minutes for everybody. Sorry. I mean, I enjoyed it still. I love opening cards, but this made it uh, a wow. All right, you guys, take care. Thanks for watching.